Yo, yep, this is Stellar Chrome. Playing some Heroes of the Storm. Uh, we're playing on Infernal Shrines here, and oh my goodness, it's already my turn to pick. Uh, we have a tank. We really could use a support. I'm thinking either Malfurion or maybe Uther. Um, Malfurion probably has some pretty good CC potential for the team fights around the shrines, I think. So we'll go with Malfurion. Balloon, grant us strength. Make sure we got all of our stuff set up here. Um, but yeah, Infernal Shrines. It's not exactly a map that I have a lot of experience on, so uh, I guess we'll see how this goes. Well, it's about damn time. Looks like uh, Zeratul got picked up before our our team could pick him up, so that's a little bit unfortunate. So Bala might come in instead. So we have quite a bit of wave clear for the uh, for the shrine phase. Now it's Lucky Owl's turn to pick. Le Owl has arrived. I guess we'll see what the final pick is. Hmm. What to fill the dead time with? Clearly, I was not prepared to start recording this, but uh, <laughs> I will fight to my last figured I might as well record something. I'm sure I'll get back into the swing of video making. It's kind of weird, because uh, when, when you stream and there's not really anybody watching, it's like, oh, you know, I can afford to just sit here for a little while. It's not that big a deal. But, like, when you're making a video, it's like, Every second you're not talking, it feels like you're doing something really, really wrong. <laughs> it's like... Someone is inevitably going to be watching this at some point. Whether it's yourself, or whether it's somebody else. And if you're just sitting there not saying anything, it's like... You're just wasting everybody's time. So you feel a lot more obligated, or at least I feel a lot more obligated, to like... Fill the dead air. As opposed to when I stream, and like, usually nobody watches this game when I stream it. It doesn't seem to be a very stream-friendly game for whatever reason. I think it's just not that interesting for a lot of people to watch. It's one of those games that's like, fun to play, but not as much to watch, I guess. I mean, I can barely watch, uh... I can't really sit through many videos of this game on YouTube. I try to, but like, I usually get bored about five minutes in, because... Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Uh, I guess we'll go top here with Naziba. And... I guess we'll go for the Innervate cooldown. Just to let, uh, let our guys spam a little bit more damage. So it's Lyoric against ETC. Uh, this is actually in the new patch where Medic is now just released. So I'm not actually sure... Uh, what changes were made. I know there were some pretty significant ones, though. Uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Wow, okay, ETC dying right off the bat. That's just great. <laughs> Apparently they are all mid. And now Nazebo is rotating mid and leaving me top alone as Malfurion for some reason. Okay, oh, that's, that's new. That Moonfire looks completely different. They updated the hell out of that. Wow, they really updated that skin. Holy crap. That's really cool, actually. What is not cool is Nazebo feeding. Nazebo, if you could stop doing that, that would be kind of nice. No, come back, ETC. Wanted to give him mana, but apparently he didn't want mana. Oh, Lyoric, why are you so OP? We kind of have the same color scheme going on. Which is kind of interesting. The wilds call out. 
so it's going to be the first shrine fight. Again, Bala has died. So my team is just doing an exceptional job of feeding her. <laughs> just happens in Hero League. I'm pretty sure this happened in the last video I recorded as well. So here's the entangling roots. This is kind of what I envisioned, except Jaina stole all of the kills. So that's not what I envisioned. <laughs> I kind of envisioned us being able to clean up these mobs really easily with entangling roots. And here we go. I think these areas right here are like exceptionally good for uh, Malfurion roots because they look like it's like the perfect uh, perfect size to completely deny a hallway. Anyways, I should probably do some healing here. That entangling roots was really bad. And now I'm getting body blocked by Tychus. Thanks, Tychus. Don't know why he didn't move forward there, but that's that's cool, I guess. This team clearly not doing very well. I know. Uh, I know. If Gamey is watching this, he's gonna hate <laughs> all the shit this guy is saying. I think uh, Mafiarin's dialogue is Gamey's least favorite. Out of all the characters. Um, I guess we'll go Rampant Growth. Pretty standard stuff. Alright, so let's see if my team can actually like get their shit together. And uh, maybe do something productive. I know it's asking for a lot, but I think it's possible. Oh dear god. He's on my face. Vala, why are you going into the lasers? Oh my fucking goodness. This is what I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, uh, where is ETC? ETC didn't even bother coming to the defense. So that was that was his course of action was to just ignore the problem entirely until it went away. Which I guess kind of worked, but not really. I still can't get over how cool that Moonfire looks now, though. That does look uh, pretty awesome. So at least I can uh, be happy about that. When your team is feeding, you pretty much have to just look for any positive that you can possibly get your hands on. Look how nice those roots look. Even though this is on absolute minimum graphics, they probably look even nicer on max graphics. It shall be done. In fact, I should probably be recording this on max graphics because I'm not streaming right now. Although, I think recording in general would kind of make my FPS suffer a little bit. And if it makes my FPS suffer, I'm usually like pretty hesitant to actually up the graphics whatsoever. And uh, can we get the kill, dude? Why didn't you... Okay, that's fine. We can let Lyra get away. Because you don't want to move to where his ghost is going. That's fine. We didn't need that kill anyways. I mean, we're already fucking... <laughs> Four kills to 13. Why would we need a kill? Why would we need to do that? I don't know. Clearly that's not something that we need to do. And now my entire team is focusing their attention on the bottom of the map when the shrine is, uh... at the top, and now ETC is calling to just give up the shrine and soak. Which actually is not a terrible call, I suppose. Since we're probably not going to be winning that engagement anytime soon. Go for some more heals. It shall be done. And of course, Vala way overextended. I really can't do anything for you, Vala. Why would you move that far up? You know their entire team is here. It's like... What kind of thought process is going through your head by positioning yourself like that? Nobody knows. Maybe there is no thought process. Maybe all that's going on in her head is It's probably all that's going on right now. That's fine. We'll just uh, we'll suffer in silence here. Oh, they're stealing our merc camp, aren't they? Or maybe they're not. No, they're not. Okay. Interesting. I thought uh, I thought the merc camps despawned when uh, when the Punisher spawned, but apparently they don't on this map. On like pretty much every other map, when the map mechanic boss or whatever spawns, oh, I'm probably dead here. Maybe. Oh dear God, yeah. 
usually on every other map when the boss spawns. Also, by the way, note Nizibo's positioning here. La la la, I like to kill minions. Huh, is there something going on somewhere else on the map right now? Huh? Is anything going on right now? Oh, I guess not. You know, d d just don't worry, Nazebo. We don't need your help up here or anything. No. Of course not. We're fine. This is the definition of fine right here, is our base is getting slaughtered, and uh, you're one of our main specialist siege damagers, and you're just not doing anything. Okay, that's good. Good. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. Totally no objections whatsoever. And now we're an entire talent tier behind. Just getting our ultimates. Okay. Oh, oh look, Nazebo is slowly making his way top. Very slowly. He has less siege damage than Vala and less hero damage. I don't know how that's even possible at this point in the game. Nazebo is like one of the top damage heroes. Oh my goodness, Jaina, please fuck off. Oh my god. I feel like I said... Did I say Vala there? I meant to say Jaina. I have short-term memory loss. I don't actually, but I feel like... Like I might be developing it. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. So fucked. I think I was in the middle of saying earlier that uh, the worst thing you can do in a situation like this is to start like yelling at your teammates and on the, in the chat. So it's like if you're gonna have any chance whatsoever of winning, which I don't think we are gonna have this game because the teams are so horribly bad. Look, hey guys, let me just attack here. I'm just gonna attack up here. Because there's nothing else going on anywhere else on the map. <laughs> like, the wilds call out. I don't get it. You can't split push when you're this far behind. You have to group and pick them off when they're trying to split push. And my team does not seem to understand this concept. But that's okay. I didn't want to win this game anyways. It's, it's fine. I was actually queuing so that I could lose. I wanted to increase my loss count. Um... Because everybody knows that the objective of this game is not to win, but to have fun. Right? Right, guys? Or like some shit like that, I don't know. People often fail to realize that losing is not so much fun. But I guess to each their own, everyone has their own opinion. Oh, this is the new Zeratul ult, I think. That's why he's been moving in so close, is because the, uh, the range on Void Prison got significantly nerfed, I think. It's actually, uh, it's pretty evident how big that nerf was, because I can notice every time he's using his ultimate, he's having to move in really close to actually use it. In fact, I think he's even blinking in to use his ultimate, so... That is a thing. Meanwhile, provide some more uh, salty commentary as our base gets pummeled. It's uh, pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. GG, says Nazebo. Well, if that's your idea of a GG, I would hate to see what a bad game is in your books. I really would. Well. Uh, at least this is going to be over soon. There's that. The suffering will end. The enemy team is actually kind enough to end the game. So, uh, thank you to them for ending uh, our suffering. And there you go. Okay. Well, uh, not much insightful was learned that game, other than uh, Malfurion's Betrayer skin looks a little bit cooler, and uh, Zergtool's Void Prison. You have to be a lot closer to use it now. And that's about all we got out of that game. Yep. Anyways, uh, this has been Stalker Run, and uh, until next time, take it easy. See you later.